What's up guys? Hoje estou aqui com um dos meus amigos que foi no casamento e hoje eu vou fazer uma entrevista com ele sobre o que ele achava sobre o Brasil antes de viajar e o que ele acha agora, coisas que ele aprendeu no Brasil e tudo. Então, welcome Alex. Thank you, thank you. Um, so I was just explaining that I'm going to do a little interview with you because yeah. you just returned from the trip. Came yeah. to our wedding, did a few other things. Just some general thoughts on what uh, what you thought about Brazil before going down there. What you think about it now? So first of all, why did you come down to Brazil? Obviously, um, one reason was because the wedding was Absolutely, happening, yeah, right? Yeah. And then the other reason was because um, of a friend that used to live down there. That's right. A good friend of mine, uh, Sam Wolf, who was at the wedding, also I brought him along, uh, lived in Belo Horizonte for uh, three and a half years. So he, uh, I was in, not able to visit him while he was living there. Mm -hmm. I really wanted to go to the World Cup, uh, but it, I just couldn't do it financially at the time. I was just out of school, so this opportunity came up and I said, hey, you want to go to Brazil? And so he was my uh, travel companion and official translator for two weeks. Also one of the reasons I wanted to talk to you was because you didn't just go down and travel down there as a tourist. You right. were with somebody, not a Brazilian, but Sam's about as close to a Brazilian I'd say being so. American as you can get, right? Yeah. So he really, I'm sure, I was watching all your Instagram stories and yeah. everything and you were really getting the, the feel for what Brazilians are like. That's right. Yeah. You were just talking to me about your notes, that you, your language notes, right? So what kind of, what words and phrases did you learn? Well, I mean, uh, one I had to learn right away traveling with Sam was uh, mentiroso. Mentiroso? Yeah. Which is <laughs> Por, liar, right? Yeah. Por que? Or why? Well, because <laughs> he, he likes to fib. Uh, you know, okay. He's a, he's a real jokester. A, a, a prankster, if you will. So a lot of times he'd say stuff and I'd have to just be able to say, like, you know, he's lying. He's lying. <laughs> okay. I, I didn't know I mean, that about it, him. But it that's, came, came in handy. That's interesting. Know? All right. That's not what I expected. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. What else? Uh, legal, of course. Legal. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, beleza. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. That was an important one. Babaca. Babaca. Yeah. Puta babaca. Yeah, você um uh, babaca. <laughs> Eu? Me? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I hope you didn't use that too much. No, I never used it. <laughs> Only but to it, Sam. But you, to had, Sam. but you had to learn it. it I had to learn, to learn I had it. to learn something like a little yeah. bad, you know. You can call him uma um puta babaca mentiroso. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's what he is. <laughs> Uma puta babaca mentiroso. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, you learned, I mean, you were down there for three weeks, so I feel like you, for being down there, I mean, that's not a ton of time, but it's enough to learn, you know, yeah. a little bit, so yeah. that's good. Did you think it was weird, um, like, meeting girls, Brazilian girls? Like, was that weird for you, or were you uh, just kind of like, eh, it's whatever? Yeah, I mean, you know, when in Rome, do as the yeah. Romans, so I just kind of had confidence and. A lot of times I just approach them and say, "Nice to meet you," and mm -hmm. they'd, they'd like laugh and say, "Nice to meet you." <laughs> <laughs> so you know it worked okay, and Sam yeah. gave me plenty of introductions in Belo mm -hmm. Horizonte, and um, also he he knew some people in other cities that we visited. Cool. So <clears throat> kind of going back to before you went on the trip. Um, also, by the way, nice shirt. Thank you. Did you had that before you went Gallo. to Brazil? No, no, no. Al, you bought it down there. Yeah. Nice. So, um, what were kind of your expectations about Brazil before you went down there? Specifically, did you have any any stereotypes? Did Sam tell you anything, or you know, did you just kind of go down there with a blank slate and you didn't really know what to expect? I didn't really know what to expect. I haven't had. I've never. You know, I I spent time in Spain. I never went to Portugal. I haven't really heard the language of Portuguese up close that mm -hmm. much. Besides Sam and you know some of your videos and. I happened to run into some people on the light rail actually here the oh, week really? before I went down. I was sitting across from them and they were speaking what I discovered was Portuguese <laughs> and they were Brazilian and of course they connected me to their Facebook friends who were still in Brazil uh, and we had to try we didn't actually meet up with them but we we tried to. So there's I, Brazilians everywhere. Well they, and, that, and that was an indication. This happened a week before the trip and then the whole trip everybody you meet, you know, it's they know people in other parts of the country and they want to connect you and host mm -hmm. you and 
Uh, everybody's just very warm and friendly. Yeah, that's one of the things I love about Brazilians. It's not, I wouldn't say like it's every Brazilian, but it's more common For sure. among Brazilians than it is American. Was it, did you think like, oh, it's soccer, it's yeah, beach. Yeah, I honestly it's... thought there would be more soccer. Just kind of like people playing mm -hmm. in the streets more. Um, or like on the, like if there was a soccer field, like it'd always be people or like yeah. any open field, yeah, right? Yeah, totally, totally. Yeah. Um, there were a lot of people playing on the beach in mm -hmm. Rio. Lots of really great jugglers, which was cool to see. Um, we did play soccer with Sam's old soccer team in Belo Horizonte, the little uh, like futsal field, oh, okay. uh, six on six, Yeah. Uh, which was fun. That was after my first night in Brazil, so we were out till four, <laughs> uh, doing some dancing some foho, and then nice. we, we went and played soccer at 7.30 a.m., so needless to How'd say, I, I didn't perform very well. I, I feel bad. I let down the... Uh, the, the U.S. a little bit even, in the performance. But even, like, because we both played soccer growing up, yeah. and I feel like we're capable soccer players, but even playing with Brazilians who never played competitively or just always played at family gatherings or stuff like that, I feel like they're always better than you for whatever reason, like, just because they're Brazilian. It's, yeah, like, yeah. in their blood. Totally. I mean, they're touch. They're just, I think they understand the game and movement and... Yeah. They watch it all the time, and they're mm -hmm. playing it. I mean, it's definitely more of the culture there. Than it is, here. and it's funny you said that, because it is a big deal down there, but it's not, like, in your face all the time like you would ex maybe expect, yeah, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, did anything surprise you about Brazil? Like, for example, one of the things that really surprised me when I got down there was you go into a neighborhood, and every house or every business, there's, there's a fence around it, like a security fence. Yeah. Is there anything, like like that that you like got down there and like oh that's kind of weird uh you know not not so much i mean uh, i think uh it was very kind of i mean central south american landscape i haven't been to south america before but mm -hmm. i spent time in guatemala and some of the scenery and landscapes looked a little similar i mean yeah i'd say brazil is certainly far more developed and you know economically advanced than guatemala is at the time but it's very hilly and green mm -hmm. and uh there's high density in guatemala city which is, is similar but yeah um so and you went to you made it to sao paulo right yeah spent 24 hours in sao paulo oh, okay so got a taste of it got some some really good uh, ramen nice in the uh in uh, in the Libertad, Libertad. I've never been there. Oh, but I've Libertad heard. Libertad is the Japanese part of town. Oh, uh, okay. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, I've heard that you can find any type of food that yeah. you want there. Yeah. I mean, I only spent a couple days in Rio mm -hmm. and one day in Sao Paulo, and I think the easiest way to compare them is Sao Paulo is like New York and Rio is like. LA meets Miami. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, it's, a good, it's got the really Miami vibe, but it does. also kind of the LA kind of laid back also. Uh -huh. but, uh, it's pretty, they were both great cities. I'd like to go back and spend more time in, in both of them. Cool. So <clears throat> what was your, if you had to pick one, like what was your favorite part of the trip or what was your favorite part of Brazil? Oh man, I think it was uh, the time in Belo. Yeah. Uh, just because it was a week that was action packed. Uh, hanging out with Brazilians, mm -hmm. you know, sitting at a table where there's Portuguese being spoken and hanging out at the local bar where Sam knew everybody and mm -hmm. they had phenomenal live music there and it was actually a, a Galo bar. Oh, really? Yeah, so that's why I got into the team a little bit. Nice, you know, nice. So. Well, I didn't get to go to a game, but I'll have to go back to The go games there are crazy, man. Yeah. They're nuts. I went to the Derby game um, in Curitiba. Oh, and I went at like with the visiting team, so like we went in the visiting section, and you they won't let you leave the stadium with at the, the shirt on. Time. Oh wow! Yeah, well, not you have the you're like a special street you have to go down yeah. to get into the game, and then when you're leaving, they make you take your shirt off to get, to go out into the neighborhood because they don't want anything that. Yeah, it is it's nuts, man. That's pretty wild. So next time you're down there, oh, you definitely. check it out. Absolutely. Did you have did you have something that was? Like your least favorite part? Did you have something that you didn't necessarily enjoy? Well, I, I always struggle with humidity. Uh. Uh, the high humidity <laughs> is tough for me. I hate that feeling where you go to shower and your towel is still wet from the day before. Mm -hmm. And it's just not a good feeling. Uh, I mean, we're at the polar opposite here where it's really dry. So I miss yeah. it. Well, my skin's all itchy and dry. I miss mm -hmm. the humidity a little bit. But uh, yeah, it's pretty intense. It's rough. Especially yeah. because, like... 
I don't know how the weather is in Belo, but uh, certainly in Rio on some you know hot summer days, the humidity just amplifies it. Yeah. And then right. also the other end of that is in Curitiba, the city I lived in. In the winters, it's so cold. Totally. And cold humidity is like is the worst. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the it sucks. Midwest, right? <laughs> yeah. Your folks are from Minnesota, they understand. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, your favorite, like, time there was in Bella. Was that yeah. your favorite place, too, or did you did you like a different place better? I, I mean, I, I think it was my favorite place just yeah. because I got such an insider tour and it was such a highlight trip. I mean, every meal we ate was fantastic mm -hmm. we knew the places we weren't kind of like oh is this place good is this place good yeah so it was really a highlight reel and uh you know we got to stay with former co-workers we stayed at their house one night that was a cool experience mm -hmm. um just it was it was a great week there it's kind of like your first impression of it yeah and it just stuck totally and being... like i said i mean every night we were doing something hanging out mm -hmm. with people uh, trying to go somewhere, of course, Sam was to dance foho, so. <laughs> he, he's a good dancer, too. He everybody at, everybody at the wedding was like, he knows how to dance. All the Brazilians were like, he dances better than we do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, what about your favorite uh, drink or food? Let's go, let's go with food first. So food is this dish that which was translated to me as pork knuckle. Okay. We had it the last night in Belo Horizonte. Um, is it like a traditional um, it, it, food? I think it is. I think it okay. is. We ate a, quite a bit of traditional food from Manais General. Mm -hmm. um, or is it General Manais? Mi, mi, Minas Gerais. Minas Gerais. There yeah. you go. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. also they say like uh, Belo Horizonte. Well, yeah. depending like on Belo what part, it's yeah. either Belo Horizonte or Belo Horizonte. Yeah. But well. it's okay. It's Honestly, like you walk like into a, if you walk into a bar and say Belo Horizonte, yeah. that, like all the girls are gonna be like, ooh, gringo. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it was delicious. It was like this deep fried pork. I mean, not too, fr you know, crispy. Mm -hmm. I mean, really nicely done, and it was yeah. just so tender and juicy. And um, the food in general was really good in Belo. And and when we were in other parts of Brazil, mm -hmm. people commented that, you know the state of Manais is known for yeah that was, yeah yeah, that was <laughs> better. <laughs> yeah and they and the cheese too yeah the cheese was yeah great. that's what they always say that's what the it's cheese like. and the preserves and so mm -hmm. like we had uh, guava preserves with okay. cheese and toast and uh -huh. it was uh, yeah. another highlight was Sam still owns a Fusca down there oh really yeah so he got to we and it still drive. runs? Yeah, yeah. What? He, it, literally, he, his name is on the title. Really? It, he's been keeping it with his ex-girlfriend, and uh, she drives it. And uh, so we got to cruise around town in the Fusca, nice. which was a lot of fun. Uh, just like a couple of rainy days cruising <laughs> around in the Fusca. So that's another word that you learned. No, yeah. The Fusca. It's important because you see them everywhere down there. Yeah, it's, right. part, it's a part of the culture. Yeah. Cool. How about? So I already know the answer to this question. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? What is your? Uh, what was your favorite music or uh, favorite song uh, that you picked up down there? Well, I mean, it's gotta be uh, "Boom Boom Tom Tom." <laughs> Boom boom tan tan. Yeah, you said it. You had it right the first time. Boom boom, boom, boom tan, tan, tan tan. Yeah. A little funky. Uh huh. Yeah. Funky. That was a hit at the wedding. All the gringos were dancing to that MC song. MC Freero. I don't know. I mean, there's so many. Works. My sister also loves that song. Yeah. All right. So, <clears throat> would you ever consider going back to Brazil? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, of course, I've got invited back by everybody oh you gotta come back you, uh, you can stay at my house for a carnival like oh, you gotta that's, come back you gotta that's come one back. thing you should try to do if you can i, think I will I'll, I'll probably go in, in bello okay. uh, because we've got a good crew i mean maybe i can do multiple carnivals i mean I'm, it it is like a week long or four right. or five days so you no, could do even multiple years is what oh return okay trips. yeah so i'd like to experience it in multiple cities because i will say like i think that the most famous ones are in rio of or course. salvador okay but who knows maybe maybe bello has a has a great one too i have no idea well the supposedly one thing a lot of people told me is the ratio is very good in bello the ratio of 
girls to guys. Oh. So I don't know if that's a, a, a fact, but at least that <laughs> multiple people I, told me that. So. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. Um, something in the water then, huh? Something, I don't know. Who knows? Is there anything I didn't ask you about that you want to talk about? Stuff uh, that... Oh, I gotta, I gotta drop my, uh, my shoji bola. <laughs> shoji bola. Shoji bola. <laughs> That's you did. Good. You did. You learned a lot, man. There's there's a I lot mean, here. A little bit. I'd say everybody who goes down there, not ev obviously everybody, but most of the people, especially if you're with another with a Brazilian or you're with somebody who can show you, kind of the culture of Brazil or the lifestyle. I mean, I haven't met a single person that hasn't enjoyed it. Yeah. So I think that's, I think that's really cool about the country. Yeah, it definitely yeah. helped because I. I mean, I'm a Spanish speaker, and I think I would have struggled a little bit to get by without the language skills. The most important thing was the introduction to the locals and the, those real relationships that mm -hmm. Sam has, former yeah. co-workers and, and friends in, in Bella. Yeah. It was a very cool experience. Cool. Well, thanks for making the video with Thank me, Thank you. Dude. My, my pleasure. Thanks for uh, having the wedding. Yeah. Did you have fun? Oh, I had a great time. Yeah, it was a good, it was a good time. It was a great wedding. Então, gente, vou deixar o Instagram dele se vocês querem me convidar ele em, em tua casa. Yeah. Ele é solteiro, então. I said you're single, so. It's true, no. it's true. Just, just kidding. But yeah, thanks again for coming and doing the video. Uh, espero que vocês tenham gostado do vídeo. Espero que vocês tenham uma boa semana e tchau, tchau. Tchau, tchau.